Hi, today we are going to create some character stats window here, like here. I'm not going to create something like more complex. I will show some basics to you and if you understand my video, you will able to create as character stats window like here in your game. You can tweak it the way you like. So let's start without losing time. I will create some empty player object. I'm assuming you have a player object in your game, so I'm not going to add a 3D model here. Uh, we are assuming this is our player. Now, I will create a script which name is stats. Of course, you can change the name, whatever you like. So, by opening the stats script, first of all, I'm going to delete all of this. Now, uh, first of all, we need a player level, right? Public int player level and giving the default value is 1 and public float public int player strength equals 1 these are default values public float maximum damage equals 1 no here is our awake function we will use it later right now we need to uh, create a function which assigns this strength attribute and combining with the player level attribute and we'll get some maximum damage value so I'm creating some function set max damage int int level don't make it complicated player level this is better so we have to set our maximum damage value so maximum damage equals I'm going to write some equation here but you can tweak it whichever you like so this is an arbitrary equation I'm saying player level times 5 plus strength times 10 this is my equation to get maximum damage okay so in the start of the game I must initiate the maximum damage variable so I will call the set maximum damage function and give the function player level so let's try it's right here our game started so we have a maximum damage is 15 right here so this is a basic UI video add some other functions which I will use later public void I'm creating this functions for the buttons so they must be the public if you will create it in the private you cannot use it in the buttons so public point increase strength I have a function like this ranks plus plus public void increase if you are going to use one statement you can define the function like this strength minus minus so these are the same and to try in purposes I will add some function public void increase player level Player level plus plus public void player level player level minus minus use these curly brackets but if you use one statement like here this uh, sign is enough for the function so let's get into UI 
I'm creating canvas player stats window here. I'll click the 2D and pressing F to adjust my screen. I will add some background here, public image, image background. The giving name to these canvases are important because in the later time your UI will get messier so uh, it's better to name it in the start so we have a background here basic background I will add some other another canvas here and And I will have some for TMP. I will add a text here because we need a header in the stats window. Looks better. Ah, okay. I have a text here. Let's tick the auto size here. Center, middle. And I will carry this to the top of the screen and I will drag these pivots to the borders of the text otherwise it will appear different places on the different resolutions here now we are in this free aspect here but if you change the resolutions here this text will move if you don't drag the pivots around these corners so this is an important thing and we have created a canvas I will shrink it and center it okay and I will drag this pivot again no I will name it stats window stats window okay you can make it bold here no problem now in our second canvas which are which are actual values present I will add some other thing here canvas top I named this canvas top and drag it like this Direct the pivots like this and I add some text here player level I make I make shrink or just level is enough I think level here I will add txt after it because the as I said naming is important yes and make it zero center center so after this part it is mainly about the designing UI style and it is very subjective and changes person to person so you are free to try your own design but after this part it's fairly simple just watch my video and have some ideas about your ui
gems and secrets and forbidden bliss can't stay still. Don't stop the thrill. My bones crave your skin. Temptation within. Mistakes ignite the silence. Nightmares creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet. Suffocating, I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire, set my heart afire. this part by using text mesh pro i will create some tmp text variable like strength text or player level text so by to change the values in the ui i will change the values in the code so they will be connected I had two dummy buttons to control the level so these are not included in the real game but to train purposes I will add these buttons here By using vertical or horizontal layout groups, you can easily multiply your uh, prefab canvases like strength, strength canvas here. 
I will multiply it and uh, change the values inside it so I don't have to uh, do all the work again and again I do it one time and I'm using the same layout in every stat value here here I am adding the remaining stat values here and whenever you gain a level you will have one remaining set points and you will spend your remaining set points to whichever stat you want it may be strength or vitality or dex In here, I am adding some if clauses to remain in the boundaries. We don't want to our strength stat value goes to minus one, right? stats window is working correctly right now if you have questions feel free to ask in the comments thanks for watching